well, exactly where we left you guys last week. <laughs> Literally, we keep picking this shelf to film. <laughs> Today we are going to Punta del Este, the vacation spot for a lot of people in this area of South America. But the catch is, it is currently 6 a.m. and the middle of winter. That's right, so it's not going to be as packed, but still it's a beautiful place to explore. So we are looking forward to take the bus and go over there. Yeah, we definitely can't jump into the ocean, but we can take a look around, so let's go catch our bus. Vámonos! So, the other day when we were arriving to Montevideo, we came to this bus station and we were really curious of how we could get to Punta del Este because everything we saw online was like, you have to go to the airport, which is like 35 minutes away and if this place is closer to where we're staying, we'd much rather leave them here. So we did some looking around and there are a few operators that do take you to Punta del Este, so we ended up buying it online. How's the coffee, mi amor? Horrible. Oh, really? <laughs> It's coffee, and you know I need it at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> and um, it's gonna be, I think, a little bit over two hours to get there, so we also grabbed some sandwiches, because we do not know what to expect on this bus. But I think it's a two-story, which is kind of cool. The company we went with was Turismar, but Cot and Copsa also have routes. We bought our tickets one way, since we weren't sure what time we'd return, and the cost was 478 Uruguayan pesos per person. Check this out, we got a nice little uh... Rest. Okay. And like we mentioned, this ride is over two hours, um, which means Martine is probably going to sleep. I cannot sleep what? once I've been woken up. And I have brought no forms of entertainment. I realize we came with no bags. You're so wrong, Juliana. I downloaded podcasts, so I'm not going to oh, sleep. Oh, okay, for you. <laughs> so good thing I have this view to enjoy because I'm going to be pretending I'm in a music video. A sad music video <laughs> about a girl who has no other TV on the bus. Actually, I brought two pairs of headphones. I brought the beat ones for me and I brought the other ones for you. You're becoming like my mom when I was a kid and she'd have to bring these to entertain me on the flight. Otherwise, you don't stop talking, baby. <laughs> I've been called out. We made it. I just took a little nap. That's it. I think you need to re-wake up with some more coffee. So we're gonna go find a little coffee shop that's supposed to have a nice view. But man, is it quiet here or what? This is nothing like the 400,000 person beach vacation place that I've heard it is in the in the summer. It's, Not at it's all. quite the party. Not at all. They say it's the Miami of South America. They were telling us like a lot of people from Argentina and from Uruguay they come over here whenever it's summer and it's packed yeah. and you can see the high end, you can see the luxury but right now they told us that it's gonna be a ghost town, a ghost town <laughs> which is good for, for because us. we want to see it and we don't want like it's completely full exactly plus we're planning to get our beaches in when we go a little bit closer to the equator next week when we go to Brazil well let's get that coffee yeah. we found this place called Vitaminas. So we take another coffee, much needed, so we can start discovering this beautiful place. But the best part is definitely the view. Punta del Este is gorgeous. I'm loving just watching the waves this morning and seeing all the people pass by with their mate. It is so ideal. And right now, you can actually see surfers out here, which is nuts. These guys must be professionals. They must really love these waves. And hopefully we can get a little bit closer and see them because this is really cool. Mi amor, I know why they call it the Miami of South America now. They got foam parties here, just like they do in Miami. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna walk all around because it's smaller than we thought. 
and it's gorgeous to walk next to the next to the sea. Irena's having fun. We decided to walk a little further to the spot that all the surfers have seemed to congregate in. And it seems that they're the entertainment for everyone today in this sleepy town. But there's also another star here on this beach. What? Wait, sorry, did I hear you correctly? Yeah, there's a penguin over there. You're not pulling my leg if I look over there, this is gonna I be a penguin. I can pull your leg. <laughs> There's only a few places in the entire planet that you can see a penguin in the wild. Punta del Este is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, This is incredible. Wait, this is actually really sad. I want to cry now. It's crying. It's all know. alone. Yeah, we don't know if it's like a baby penguin that it's lost or... I Why? Because it's, it's the only one over here. I think it's saying mom. Hmm. Dang. We try our best to forget Darwin and the survival of the fittest and instead focus on watching these surfers. California and Estados Unidos. Viste que agarré una buena. Sí, 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 enorme. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas aquí haciendo? Ser de chiquito. Ah, sí, desde chico. ¿Eres de acá? Yo soy nacido en Uruguay, en Montevideo. Montevideo. Ah, y qué mudé para acá. Sí. Hermoso. Sí, es muy bonito. Disfruten. Muchas Hasta gracias. Luego. Bye. I love this activity that a couple of people does uh, because it's a little bit cold. Just having over here their mate and they're just watching the surfers. I could do that, sign me up. <laughs> right. We continue walking along the coastline until we reach the furthest point in the peninsula. So we're in Punta Salinas where the Rio de la Plata, it means with the Atlantic Ocean. They're friends now. <laughs> then we make a slight detour to see a couple of most seen spots but there are a few blocks from here. Over here we take a quick look at the lighthouse and a church established in 1911 called Nuestra Señora de la Candelaria. Simple but nice. Yeah, this place is actually turning out to have a couple more stops than we expected. Right. Well, I think we wrote down like three or four places we're gonna see during this video and we've added in countless more just from wandering around. Yeah. And off camera, Julian and me, we're having such a great conversation, uh, realizing we're very lucky to uh, do whatever we do. Um, working remotely and then record all these videos for you guys I know and we just want to thank y'all support because yeah we couldn't do it without y'all it's unreal I, we, we haven't mentioned this in quite a few videos but we're actually here in South America because we're celebrating 10 years of tourist to local and every single day Martin and I turn to each other and are like this is real life what 10 years ago we dreamed of making this possible you know and and we're doing it and uh, Anyway, enough being sappy, let's go to our next spot and hopefully, if all goes according to plan, maybe we'll see some sea lions. That'll be the goal. And so we walked a little further until we came across this fish market. Want to go check it out? We can. People were here to actually buy some fish, so we definitely stood out. But then we met Mario, a local fisherman who decided to take some time out of his day to show us something incredible. For a tip, of course. He shows us some of the fish you can find in this area and then starts grabbing discards from the tables and ushers us to the end of the pier. We take a look down below and there they were, the sea lions. And we've been given the task today of feeding them. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, okay. Right from the tail. They would not do this in that pier 39, that's for sure. This is not what I expected in Punta del Este. What's one? He's hungry. Oh, don't fight. No peleas. What do you think? This is so cool. 
Oh, it's incredible, eso, eh? Son enormes. Alero. Our friend is so happy. We tip him, of course. And he was like, oh, 500 pesos. And he was like so happy telling their friend. And like, I'm going to buy a couple of beers. <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of energy you need to bring to a job like yes, this. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Well deserved. Come on, enjoy your beers. <laughs> He's still singing. <laughs> so we fed some sea lions, and now it's about time to feed ourselves. Who's ready for lunch? Dang, this I'm looks pretty good, Martin. See, it's yours. Thank you. Question for you guys in the comments: If you were to spontaneously receive 500 pesos, which is about 12 US dollars right now, what would you spend it on? <laughs> For us, it just so happens to be the exact amount Martin has spent on his pasta here at a place called Piazzarella. It's a beautiful Italian food place that is right on the water. Oh my gosh, some pasta and a view like this, it's perfect. I'm loving that no one's around, we have this whole place to ourselves. And there's another iconic monument that we're going to be seeing here in Punta del Este. So let's head over there next after our meal. Lunch here was really delicious, and we can believe we were the only ones over here. As we're leaving, I noticed a spot next door selling gelato, so we're making a quick dessert stop. We got an ice cream. It's cold, I know, but we got an ice cream. <laughs> Gelateria El Porto. Oh my god, this is freaking yeah, we amazing. Got the same. Yeah, pistachio dulce de leche. Best it's combination. so good. We take our gelato to go and finish it by the time we end up at our next stop, an unusual sculpture called La Mano, or the hand. This larger than life artwork emerges from the sands of Playa Brava as if a giant were trying to escape from under the sand. It was designed to both warn swimmers of the rough waters and to symbolize humans rising to life. Hey Martin, you need a hand? I think so. <laughs> There's one huge one right here on the beach. <laughs> and we're just in front of the sea. This is the perfect time. It's not as cold and not as full of tourists. I know, it's so, so beautiful. This statue has been here for a while. It's an icon of the city. I think there, I, I read that there's five similar ones around the world, but this one's the coolest one. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad we came here and we're able to get a couple of good photos. Good photos, good video, good experience. Guys, this video, we really weren't thinking that this was going to be as fun of a video. We really thought that, I mean, we read so much online about don't go to Punta del Este in the winter, it's, everything's closed, yeah. don't do it. I think they were trying to gatekeep us. Because we're having so much fun, <laughs> such cool experiences, and we're having a blast. It's cool too because the people who are here are like the real locals and they're like proud to be here all year long. So we've gotten to meet such cool people. But now we're actually going to be hopping in our first Uber of the day to a different side of the city. And this one is going to be a special one, an interesting one. Yes. We take a drive to Casa Pueblo. Created by the Uruguayan artist Carlos Pais Villarro, this sprawling structure began as a summer house and workshop and expanded over 36 years into a labyrinth-like complex that includes a museum, art gallery, hotel, and restaurant. The design of Casa Pueblo, inspired by the nest of the ornero bird and the artist's admiration for the architecture of Santorini, reflects Villarro's dedication to his art, with no straight lines to mimic the natural forms found in nature. Over here, when it's a sunset, they have a ceremony of the sun. That's how they call it over here. And uh, as you guys can see, probably it should be a very good view of the sunset. Too bad we're not going to be over here to see that. So no matter what, if you want to enter here, you have to pay 500 pesos. Doesn't matter if you want to see the museum, just take a photo, eat at their terrace, 500 pesos. The guy, that we, the guy that we gave the 500 pesos to earlier, he could come here if he wanted. We're gonna see him over here. I think so. I think that's what he said when he was saying cerveza. No, he was actually saying Casa Pueblo. <laughs> I think that's what he was saying. It was just the accent. I don't know, guys. Like, 500 pesos? It's not that impressive, to be honest. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to agree with Martin on this one. I mean, it's cool to see it, but I wish I could see it from further away, you know? Like, it's a cool architectural site, but there's tons of people here, and I don't know, I feel like it'd be cooler to stay here. Yeah, I think that's the way. I think that's the way to do it. I mean, if you're staying over here, I think you have the best views. But yeah. Just if you pay just to enter over here, you don't. Exactly, I feel like I just need to, I need to take a couple steps back, you know, I want to see it in its glory. This has given me just enough to feel like, dang, I wish I would have stayed here. <laughs> it's also really far from everything. <laughs> We're near Punta Ballena. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we just made it. We 
we run but we're the last ones to jump on the bus <laughs> directly to Montevideo. <laughs> nice job that would be good for amazing race yes. for perfecting the skills <laughs> pretty much what happened was we were in the uber when we were pulling up martin saw a bus come in and was like that one says direct to Montevideo. We ran and got the tickets. Thank God they let us come. They were like, what? How did you get those tickets so fast? <laughs> so in total, it costs like $4.29 each way about? More about, less. yeah. Total, it's 858 So the guy that we gave the 500 pesos to, he could also jump on this bus if he wanted. That's right. <laughs> but it went towards beer. <laughs> Next week we're taking you guys to Brazil with us. We can't wait to share that video with you guys, but in the meantime we've left this video over to the side for you to keep watching our adventures. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.